Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to try something a little different today. <laughs> I got this in some happy mail, and forgive me, but I cannot remember who sent it to me, and there's no information on the cards that are in here. But I thought, how doggone cute is that? Look at that. And you can tell, if you look on the inside, it was an envelope, and they have just this is fold this part looks like it's folded up maybe to make this little angle here to where this little card tucks in there they've decorated here and then this little card tucks in there and i thought what a cute little uh, insert for your junk journal or your mini album or whatever i mean this would hold tons you could put more cards in there right there and use up some of those scrap envelopes that we all have junk mail envelopes okay so we're going to try to make one of these i'm not going to take this one apart to see exactly how it's made because i don't want to it's too pretty i cannot do that but we're going to try our best to make one now i just started playing around with this envelope this is this was this size envelope right here i have no clue if I did it exactly right or not but what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and try another and I'm just gonna take this is one of those larger envelopes let me see how big it is let me see this is five and three quarters by nine and a half it's one of those that you know your bank statement stuff comes in and, and we get all of ours by email now so so we don't get any like this because we have gone to uh, all paperless now but anyway I got these sent to me by one of you guys so I'm gonna fold it up about like that I don't know like I said I'm just kind of looking at this one that mine's gonna be a little bit shorter but that's okay no problem this is probably an, a longer envelope so if you've got a longer one it would probably work better but we're gonna do this now, I don't really want mine this wide because that is pretty wide to put in a journal. So I'm going to trim mine off right here. Same width as this one is. So I'm just going to mark that. I'm going to take my little chompa here. We do have more of these in stock. I know a lot of you was disappointed when we ran out the last time, but we have more of these in stock now. And we should have a good supply of them. So if you want one, better go grab it because they'll they'll be gone in a hurry. I know they sell out so fast. We can't keep them. And I love my chomper. Okay. Now it looks like she came up a little bit and then cut across a little there. So I don't know. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to just kind of draw a line. Not going to stress over it if it's exact or not, but just draw a little line like that. Then, let's see what she did. Um, she kind of went in at an angle from this fold. And I'll, I'll put a mark on here so you can see the fold. Right there is where I have folded it. So she went in at a little bit of an angle. Like that maybe and then just kind of rounded that and then went up through here and you could do this with your trimmer I'm just playing it brave here and then looks like that was angled as well over there let's see see if that looks anything like it yeah pretty much and that's gonna be a pocket now this the best i can tell whoops the best i can tell on hers this was a single layer so she must have cut this back part off right here this part but since mine has an, an opening in it i'm just going to glue mine together right here now you could or we could instead of gluing that together we could make this another pocket so you'd have a pocket here a pocket here and then a pocket there so what do we want to do? Let's just make it out of another pocket. So we do need to cover this with paper. Sure. I am going to 
make sure that fold is nice and folded there and then this side is open so that's what we want okay let me grab some paper okay we just got in some of this Tim Holtz uh, wallpaper worn wallpaper scraps so I'm going to use some of that I think sorry for the crinkling please just close your ears up for a minute until I get this opened I, we just unpacked it so I haven't even had time to open a pack of it. I just grabbed one. Ooh, it also comes with lots of flowers. Wow. They didn't show the flowers in the picture. It just showed these scraps of wallpaper. And there's some little pieces. So these are wallpaper, and they're actual wallpaper papers. And he calls them scraps. But isn't that pretty? I've ordered different um, styles but this is the only one that came in today but I love that okay what are we gonna use let's see and it's nice and well it's, it's wallpaper so it's nice and thick I think I might want to use that maybe on the back like that and then what would we use up here let's do a contrasting color so maybe we could use let's see Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. Maybe we could use something like this on there. Let's see if that's the one we want to use. Or we could go with this. It's not really contrasting, but I like this better. We'll go with that one. So, and then we'll use some of the flowers and things too. So let's glue this down, and I'm not even, I'm not going to trim it first. I'm just going to put my glue on here. And by the way, if anybody anywhere has seen my glue refill bottles, please let me know. I cannot find them anywhere. My husband and my son-in-law have packed them away when we were going to have some remodeling done. And I mean, they're, they're missing in action. I have... I have looked and looked and I've turned boxes upside down and my husband keeps saying, you're just overlooking them. They're right here. And then he'll go look and they're not there. So who knows where they are? Okay, let's see. Is this got a right? Yeah, I think that's the right way up. Oh, I love this. I need to get a ton of this. Aren't we like that? We find something that we really like and we just want more and more and more and more. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Let's make sure this is going to still fold. Yes. Okay, we're going to trim this off. And I will link this wallpaper below. This one, let's see. One wallpaper scraps. I thought this one might have a name. Well, it's the only one we've got in right now, so... Like I said, I did order more than one kind, but this is all they sent me. So the other was out of stock at the moment. So now I don't think I'm going to put, she didn't put a pull in this side because she put that little piece of lace there. And I think I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm not going to put a pull in the edge. Now I need to cover let me think I need to cover this part right here so I'm gonna glue that down like that and then trim that off so let's put some glue here I guess let's see no I'll put a different piece on the back I started to say we could just take that on back toward the back but no I don't want to do that we'll put a different piece on the back and if you, if you did make this, please link, let me know below. Well, I start to say link, but you can't link. Uh, let me know below that just say, I made it because it is gorgeous. I want to give you credit, though, because you're the one who made this. Not, I'm just trying to copy what you made. You guys come up with some of the most brilliant ideas, I tell you. I'm not teaching you anything. You guys are teaching me tons. There we go, we've got that glued on, so let's trim that off. And 
And I will definitely save every little piece of this scrap right here. I don't know why I did that, do you? <laughs> All I needed to do is fold it and cut that off. Oh, well. It's done. My mind was not on that. My mind was a million miles away right that second. Okay. Oh, and we found, for those of you who saw my post about our grand dog, our little doggy, we found him or that someone found him, he was actually turned into a little resort that is just close to Alicia Nim's house. And it's a resort that he has stayed at many, many times before. So evidently, he must have liked that place because he went back there. And somebody saw him near there, so they just went ahead and took him up there. And then they posted, you know, if this is your little fur baby, come and get him. And it was. He had a little girlfriend in the cage with him, though, so I don't know. He may have went to find him a little girlfriend. All right. Ooh, the, isn't that pretty? Okay. Let's see what we're going to do now. Now we need to cover the back because, well, let's see. Okay, if you're going to glue it down in your journal, you won't need to cover the back. If you're not going to glue it down in your journal, you can cover the back. I think I'm going to glue mine down on a page, so I'm not going to cover the back. But I, when I glue it, I'm going to glue down through here, across here, and up through here. And that'll make me another tuck spot in the back. So we're going to have a pocket here, right there. A pocket here, but I need to put some paper on this because I don't really like that look. And when you open that up, it's going to show. So let's just grab a piece of some kind of paper. It doesn't necessarily have to be this, but I think I'm going to stay with some of this. Just put a little piece in here. Let's see. That will work right there. And if we we'll glue that piece in there, then when that little pocket is opened up, you'll see this and not, you know, that envelope that's in there. So let's do that. And we're going to do that before we glue anything else down. And of course, you don't have to go all the way down with it, but I'm going to go all the way to the to the little fold with mine, just to make sure that none of that envelope shows when you kind of open it up, that pocket. And I'm just going to slide this down in there, making sure that it's all the way up to this edge and it doesn't go over the fold. There we go. All right, now we can trim that off. So I'm just going to follow my little curve here. I love how that cuts. It feels so good when it's cutting. Okay, so then we've got, if we have that little pocket, we've got that. Now I'm going to glue... Let's see. I would probably stitch this. Maybe. Let's see. I'm thinking. Let me think a minute. You know, I think I'm going to stitch this. And what I'm going to do, first off, I'm going to take that little piece off because we don't really need that there. And that's just going to get in my way. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to, um, let's see. Hmm. All I'm going to do is stitch right down through here because I'm going to close this little edge up. I'm going to stitch right down through there and across here. Then I'm going to close it up and I'm going to stitch up through here and then over to here just like that. Now if you wanted to stitch all the way around and have every edge stitched, all you would need to do is Cut this little end open, just slice it open, do all your stitching, and then glue that back together. But I'm not worried too much about that. I just want to do some stitching because I think that'll look good on here. So let me grab my sewing machine, and I'll do a little bit of stitching, and we'll be right back. Okay, we have got that stitched. And then I would love to have stitches down through here, but I don't. I didn't want to open my envelope up, so I'll show you what I'm going to do. And I think it'll still work and look okay. Um, I think I'm just going to ink it real well there. 
I trim off all these strings. Okay. Now, if you do not have a sewing machine, take your marker, a black marker, a blue marker, whatever color you want, and just draw you some little stitch marks on there. You don't have to sew if you don't have a sewing machine. You could just glue this. You don't have to do any stitching at all. That is just something that I like to do, but that's not necessary. I am going to ink around mine a little bit on all sides. I'm using Vintage Photo, and I'm just inking just slightly. I'm not, not inking a lot. And I used brown thread in my sewing machine. Now, I'm going to try my best. Let's see. Let's grab a scrap of something. Let me see. Where's the scrap? Let's grab a scrap of one of these envelopes. That'll work. And I'm just going to put some a little bit of ink on this just to define it just a little bit. <clears throat> That's all that will do is it will define that little pocket for us there. That's what we want. Okay. So now we have that. Now on this little spot right here, I didn't want to, to stitch that to this because I want this to be a full pocket. So what I'm going to do is put just a little bit of glue right in there. And that's just going to glue that little edge down so that it doesn't catch on something. Little bit of glue right there. Okay. How cute is that? Now we need to make some cards for this. And you know what I say if you need to make a card and you have a junk envelope, just use that to make your card out of. So we're going to use this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to cut it about right there, just straight across. These make the best cards because they're, you know, two-ply, so they're a little bit stronger. And all you need to do is cover them with paper and you're, you're set and ready to go. So let's see what paper we want to cover this with. Let's see what she did. She used some of the same papers. I may use this one. I was trying to see what that said. Join here. Oh, <laughs> join here. Okay, I'm gonna use that one, I think. So I'm just gonna put a little glue down in there and then just glue that shut. Okay, then we're going to put glue on the outside here, and we're going to glue that little piece down. It's so funny because this even smells like you're getting ready to put up wallpaper. Remember years ago when everybody did wallpaper? in their house that's what this smells like you know you'd come in and your house smelled just like the wallpaper glue because you had been <laughs> you had been doing wallpaper all day so what this smells like exactly so there's that covered it's nice and strong so all we need to do is trim it off whoops i may have gone a little bit crooked let's see um, just a tiny bit. We're going to trim that right there. Okay. That will work. So there's our tag. Let's make sure it fits before we go any further. We may have to trim it off some more. No, it slides right in there. It's perfect size. I am going to, I've got a little piece right here that can make catch on sliding in and out so I'm just gonna glue that down and that should work so now what do we want to do I don't want to I may want to round the corners and that that's all I don't want to make it into a tag shape my little handle here keeps falling off I need to get my husband to glue that back on for me but um 
I'm just going to make this into like a journaling spot and we'll put some paper on the back. Now when you snip around this, you either need to glue this together or you can stitch it together because, you know, when you snip, you're opening up that envelope that's in there. Which, it's not a big deal to me, but, you know, you might not want yours opened up. And then right here, I'm going to just cut that off. I started to say I'm going to glue it, but I'm just going to cut that off because we're about to cover that with some paper. And make sure that this one's glued down well. Just glue all of your little bits and pieces down. Okay, now let's cover the back side with some paper that we can write on. Um, let's see, we could cover it with this. That's a good writing paper. This is that paper from, this is the drawing paper is what it's called and I got it off of Amazon and I have it linked below in most all of my videos. It's just called drawing paper. And it's a real, it's kind of a rough texture, but when you print digitals on this, they are so pretty. And it prints very well. It runs through my printer with no problem. But you can also write on it, and it's very easy to write on. Okay, I'm going to glue that down there. And then we'll trim this off. And I could have waited in, until I covered the back to do all of my corner rounding, but you know, sometimes I think about stuff like that, and sometimes I don't. As long as it gets done, I don't guess it matters what order you do it in. Now, I'm just going to go around in any parts of this that are opened up, I'm just going to glue them back shut. You could do this with your stitching if you want to. That would be the easiest. Okay. Then I need to find a lace that will look pretty on here. Make a lace or that, a little lace pull, and then we need to make a, two more tags, one here and one for this side. So I'm just going to use this tag to cut one by. And again, I'm going to use a piece of this envelope. It just helps you use those envelopes up, and it makes a nice, strong tag. Okay, so I've got that cut. And I'm going to cut one more because we need two for this. And I'm just going to use this piece right here to cut that with. Okay, I'm, I'm going to round the corners once I put the backing on there, so let's see what paper we want to put on the front. Um, let's see what I have in the scraps that will fit. Oh, that will fit, so let's, no, that matches that. Let's do this, that will fit on one. Now again, I'm going to open this up and go ahead and put some glue in here, just to glue it together. There we go. Then we'll put our glue on here. And we'll trim this one. We'll put our backing on and then we'll round our corners. I'm just going to use another piece of this for my backing. Oh, I need to cut that a little bit straighter. that one and let's go ahead and round those corners while we're at it. There we go. Got that one and then we need to do this one and I am going to again put some glue in here and glue it together. Okay. 
then let's go ahead and put some paper on here and this one's going to be that one to go in let's see find something a little bit different let's try this one that'll be pretty okay cute okay I like this now. This is another idea to use up all of those envelopes that I've got stuffed away in my drawer. I know we all do. I can't throw one away now because I, I keep thinking, oh, I can do this with it and I can do that with it. Okay, I'm going to trim this here off I got that a little bit long before I put the backing on there and again if you want to get it exact just trim it with your trimmer I'm just grabbing my scissors number one because they're right here beside me and number two because I love to hear that paper cut so let's see what we've got now that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and round these corners. Okay, now I'm just gonna make sure that I haven't opened anything up and it doesn't look like I have. So there are our two tags that go in here. So one would go here, let's see. One will go back here and then one would go in here like that. And you could make one a little shorter than the other. Just depends on what you're looking for. I'm gonna think I'm gonna stack mine kind of like that. And then this is gonna go on the inside. But I am gonna ink them. If I was gonna stitch around them, I'd go ahead and do that now. I'm not sure. I may do that, I may stitch around them. That'll just kind of hold everything together and make sure that, you know, if I cut a little place that opened up that none of them will be open. So let's do that as soon as I get this on there and I'm gonna while I'm stitching I'll stitch a little piece of lace on the edge for the pull so let's see I was just looking to see if I might want to trim this one off a little bit and make it a little shorter because I, I think I want to decorate right here and I don't want them sticking up so high so yeah, let's trim this one off. I think this one's gonna go in the front, yeah. So I'm just gonna grab my trimmer here. And we're gonna guess at it. And I think I'm gonna take about that much off. Oops. You have to hold things. And I'm not gonna waste that, I'll use it. I'll use it for a little tag. Oh, this made a, a cute one, a little square one almost. Okay, now let's tuck that one in that front pocket there. Yes, that's more like what I wanted right there. So that one's going to go there, that goes there, and then we can do some decorating here. But let me stitch these first, and then we'll come back, and we may use some of those flowers on here. All right, we got that stitching done. And where are my scissors? I don't know. My little black scissors is what I'm looking for. They do this string cutting a lot better than the others, but we're just going to use what we have in front of us. Let's cut all the strings off. Put them in my little bucket. And I actually forgot to put my lace on the first go around, so I had to go back and put it on which is not a biggie, but it would have helped if I had put it on the first go around. But I got distracted. You know how easy that is for me to do. Okay. Now I did some different styles of stitching all the way around this one since it was kind of big. Did some little short zigzag some straight stitch and then some big zigzag zigzag so 
All right, let's put this one in here. And we will do some decorating to it, but I'm just going to make sure everything fits right first. And this one will slide down in there. Whoops, wrong way. Slide down in there. And then this one will go right in this little front pocket right here. And it will go that way. Okay. Right, so let's put some embellishments on these. Now, since we got all of these beautiful flowers in this, which I had no clue that we would, we may use some of these. Hmm. I kind of like that there, but I think I'll cut, I don't know, if I use that one, I may cut some of those pieces off back there. Let's just see what we're gonna use. Oh, that'd be pretty. Let's see, that might go on one of the smaller ones. Sorry, I'm taking up your time by looking, but I, I have not looked through these before, so I've got to see what's here. Oh, and there's a little doily, like that big one. Oh. Okay, I may put that doily there, put this little piece here, or one of these pink ones there. No, I kind of like the green one there for better. And we'll put a label or something across there. And let's see. Probably put something behind it. I'm just trying to figure out all of this. Um, I think I want some book page behind this before I put that down. Just to kind of separate it from the background. Let's see if I have any right here available. I bet I do. Okay, here's some scraps. There's some book page right there. Now, I think I also want some vellum, maybe. So we'll grab a little bit of vellum. going to tear that white off or the the cream color not white okay I may go that route and then I want something down here so I might put a piece of music page coming out there nope don't want that. Let's see what we do want. Okay, here's some vellum. Now this is just plain vellum. Let me look. I got sent. Let me grab it. It's right here in front of me because I put it here because I want to use some of it in this next little journal that we're working on. I got sent this whole pack of beautiful vellum that I am just over the moon about. And I don't want to use it, but yet I think it'd be pretty on here. So we'll grab a piece. Ooh, that's pretty. That's got a little, just a little pink tint to it. Oh, there's one that's got butterflies on it. Oh my goodness, what am I going to use? Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to tear that out and I'm going to lay that over there and let's look and see. Alright, that's clear. So let's use, let's just use a little piece of this and I'm just going to tear it. Oh, it tears so easy. Why am I tearing it by hand when I could be using my little ruler? Okay, let's see. If we put this down, like that, that piece. Ooh, I'm going to have to cut that off because I don't want it. I don't want so much of my vellum covered. That there, maybe. And then this 
down here and we'll still have some of our vellum showing. Then we need to put another little piece of vellum under here and I may go with a piece of this. Let's see. Let's do this. This has got some really pretty flowers on there that I just kind of finger cut. Well, if I use this flower, though, I'm going to cover up most all of that. So let's see if we can just use a, a smaller one, maybe a little baby one. Or maybe something like this there. Then we'll still have our vellum pieces showing, maybe. You guys got to let me know. I don't know what to do now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We may have a winner here. Oh, let's do that. Then we can run this down here to that corner and just trim off any little pieces that are left. So we're going to do that. Okay, let's start inking because we definitely want our pieces inked so that they'll stand out. And inking your vellum, you need to ink really, really hard on the edges because that makes your vellum really pop. And it makes it almost look like it's burned, like, it, like somebody took a little hot iron and burned the edges of your vellum. Just make sure that you put it the right way up, not the wrong way up. There we go. And then our little book page, we're going to do the same thing. And I think I'm just going to tear this as a little bit of an angle. Not so square. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue our vellum down. If I don't start gluing, I will continue to change things up. All right. I just glued right around the edges on that vellum. And I should have used my Barely Arts glue because it doesn't actually leave any kind of warping or anything on your vellum. Your, um, this glue, the uh, Art Glitter glue does sometimes. Sometimes it'll leave a little bit of warping because it is a lot water. It's water based. But I think that'll be okay. We're going to cover part of that up anyway. And I have people all the time who say, I can't believe you put that beautiful piece down and then you covered it up. Well, that's just the way things go. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way this works, you know. Sometimes you just, that's how layering goes. You layer your pieces and to me it just makes it look a lot prettier. You know, these little flowers and things are made out of wallpaper too. You feel the texture. Okay, we'll put this down. Let's see, that goes that way. Cute. And I want a little label or something up there at the top. Then we're gonna ink this one up. side is which? I don't really know. I think I inked the wrong side because I think this is the side. On this one it really doesn't matter but I think I'm going to use that like that. Okay. There we go. And then let's ink this one up. And we're going to put this one like this, like that. Right, now let's trim this edge off here. And then you need to ink that again just so that it doesn't look like you just trimmed it off. All right now we're going to put, I don't know if I want a butterfly on there or if I want a label or if I want both. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this butterfly right there. And then we'll put some, uh, we will put some what? What will we put? Some bling in the center. My mind is on like five different things trying to remember, where are my little scissors? Where is this? And then I forget what I'm about to say. Now I'm gonna trim the extra white off the edges of this just because I don't really want that to show. So I'm just gonna use my little scissors and go right in there and trim that off. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna put that down like that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna touch just the tips with some brown ink. I don't want it really distressed. I just want a little bit of dark around the edges just so that I don't show that white where the white core of the paper is. Then we're going to put that right there. I just had something behind me fall and I have no idea what it was. We'll figure it out in a minute. Okay, put that right there. Glue him down. That's cute. It's really busy <laughs> but I like it so I'm not gonna worry about that I don't worry about busy I like busy sometimes it won't show as busy when we get our cards and things in there journal cards so I'm just gonna cut a little piece of this I probably only need three so let's just cut those three off cute I like that Oh, and I still want to label on here, so let's see what I have just right here at me because I don't want to have to get up and go dig through other piles. All right, so let's cut out one of these. These are some of our labels that we gave as a freebie, I think, last year sometime. We're going to cut out that Cherish right there. And I need to print some larger labels. I'm out of larger labels. So I need definitely need to do that. Because some of these items call for larger labels, don't they? And I've got lots of small ones, but I, I'm out of large ones. I used to have lots of large ones and out of small ones, and now I'm just the opposite. All right, where do we want this? Right here? Right there? I think right here, maybe. Just a little word. Cute. I am loving that. Okay. Now we need to decide what we want to do this. And I think that will look beautiful on there. I am going to ink around this a little bit. And I think this may be one of those pieces that kind of runs across the top. But we're not going to worry about that. It looks like it's got stems up here and stems down here. But you know what? We can just cut these stems off at the top and ink that. Nobody will be the wiser except you and me. And it's a secret, so don't tell. Let's put that down right there. Oh, I love that. Now, I'll tell you what I do want. I want one of Tracy's definition labels on here right there somewhere this one had a little water damage I dropped some water on it but I think that just makes it that much more interesting right after I took it out of the printer I, I dropped some ice water on my desk and it hit these labels and that one it did a little bit of Distressing too, but that's fine with me. I don't worry about that. I think that is cute All right, we're gonna put that right there and that is gonna tuck in here Oh, Cute, I like that and see that is just the right size right there and then let's do these little guys 
this is up I think and I was thinking maybe that blue on there no maybe let's see no I don't want that one up there what about yellow no it's a little bit big I may go back to the blue You know, I may not put anything on this one because it's kind of got enough greenery on there, doesn't it? So we may just leave it like it is. I might come back later and add something to it, but right now I think I'm just going to leave it like that. This one, what was I going to do to this one? I was going to put a little something on this one just because it's more bare than that other one was. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Okay, let's put that on there. We can always run a label across that. That's cute. I like that on there. And I'm covering up some of my wallpaper, and that is fine. I still got some to show, but I do want a little bit of decoration on this, so it doesn't bother me. I don't worry about the little things. Life is too short to worry about the little things, isn't it? Look at that. Mm, I like that. Okay, we're going to put a label on there because I just feel like it needs it. Let's grab this one. It just says journey. No, does it say journey or journal? Uh, this one says journey. Let's grab this and put it on there. I need to cut all those out and put them in my little container there, but I have I have been so behind on everything else that I haven't taken the time to do anything like that. Oh, and we'll have another video up this afternoon that will give a little bit, well, it'll give all the information. I'm starting to say a little bit, but it's going to give all the information for the um, May challenge so don't miss out on that if you want to participate in our May challenge and that's going to be for a hundred dollar gift card to the store but you do have to be a subscriber to win that one okay now we're going to put that one right down in there so you can still see everything still see pieces of everything so all of the all of the good stuff is still there. Let's put these back over here. Okay, I am really liking that. Now, this was the one that she did. Take that off. And we'll put that card back in there. And then here's her front card, the one that went in there. And then this is the one that we did. I think they're super cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ever who did this one for me. I absolutely love it. Mine is a little bit more busy than, than yours is, but I love both of them in different ways. Absolutely gorgeous. And they'll be so useful in our journal. Let me just grab a, I was to say, let me grab a journal, but now I can't find one. There it is. There is our journal. Let's just... Let's say we wanted to glue it down to that page. There we go, right there. And we just glued down through here, across the bottom, and up through here. And you've got another tuck at the top where you can put things in. This is our AJ journal. I am almost finished with it. I have started printing out his um, pictures. So I'll be adding some pictures and some journaling in here. And I'll take you guys along with me on that. I, I know a lot of you say, well, you always make these, but I never see you do anything with them. Well, I do plenty with them, so I will let you know. I will take you along when I start adding things. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That's pretty on there. I may use that one on that page. Okay. All right, so that is this little project. I think it turned out great. And we used these Tim Holtz wallpaper pieces. 
So if you want some of these, I'll put the link to these below. You can go over and grab them. I don't know how many we have. I don't know how many we have left. But if you want some of those, you can go over and grab them from the link. And we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We would appreciate it if you would subscribe because, after all, you want to join in on all those giveaways, don't you? All right, we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.